My name is Duo of Andrews. Today in Valheim, I'm going to be building a traditional Norse Viking house. I have already flat flattened an area out, kind of. I might need to do a little bit more flattening from a previous episode of where I did a flattening tutorial or guide or whatever you want to call it, tip. First thing I need to do is I need to build a little plan frame at work. This is what I built for a little frame, frame of the uh, planning frame, I should say. This is gonna be like a little entrance right here where you can go through and have the main the main point of a Norse Viking house is that they had one big room and a fireplace in the middle. That that is the like the the what main thing about it that it absolutely has to have. I built in the flooring and I added the little spot in the center for the campfire. So I added in some basic framing to the house. And I have this spot to be in a little bit lower so it adds a little bit more depth. And over on the other side, I'm having the view start off right here. While this one's going to be started up a little bit higher to also add in some depth as well. I added on a bit more framing. I, I built in arches over here. I had to build in supporting beams for the middle to be able to support the view up here. And I also put down like two... Just to get the right look, so it's all even all the way through, I, I did put in two uh, beams right here. Now I'm going to fill in all the roofing now. I added in the roofing, this is what it looks like. I also added in a little bit of faming right here, because um, this roof right here was failing. Now I'm going to add in the fire and put in all the walls. I finished adding the walls to the house. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I use the doors as windows because I think these doors are very short. I hate them as doors. I think they're actually just windows, to be honest. And you can also jump through them. But you can't jump through them if you put a piece of wood in there like that. Which I'm going to do that under every window I put in. Now I'm going to add in all the de small details on the inside. Alright, I've completed all the inside small details. I put wolf's pelt down for his like carpet. And I have here like little cooking center area with all the little cooking stuff to go with the cauldron. I got some chests. Um, I got a yuletide tree with yuletide garlands all up around. There's two tables filled with food. There's some seats and whatnot. There's the, the barrel for you to grab your drinks. I put up shields with the red and blue, red, red and black banners all around. There's a set of armor over here. Um, yeah, there's beds over over here. A whole bunch of them. They sadly, the, the fire is not close enough for it to count. So if you wanted this for your own build, you would have to figure out something. Maybe like a hanging fire or a basil would suffice. Now it's time for me to do all the outside details. Okay, so I added in the outside details. I have the crafting station with a stool and some of the, all of the crafting, the basic crafting, the walk benches, um, improvements. I got this wood pile right here. I, I put a little piece of wood on here first so I can build the, I built this wood up first and then the other two. And then I all got some Yggdrasil wood to look like, you know, it sticks next to the chopping block because you're hitting down the, the the logs down and the sticks that can be usable and burned up for the fire over there. I also got a cart filled with random crap. I got two cart chests over here. Got a little table with some tools, a bow and an axe. And a little fire pit for everybody to sit down and be next to the fire. I also added in a little bit more grass around the building so everything's not just dirt. It's just dirt around the spots where I think people would walk a bunch. And around the fire because you don't want grass around the open fire. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me building this traditional Norse home. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. And it'd be fantastic if you left me a sub sandwich. I'll see you guys later and goodbye.